Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And this is an article from the Washington Post. It says millions of Americans are heading into the holidays unemployed and over 5,000 behind on rent. And pretty much uh, the inspiration of this video came from uh, this video here where uh, the elder Yashawamba, all right, his channel is Remnant Save 144. <clears throat> and um, I'm pretty much halfway through the video, but I stopped it because I, I got the idea for a video. And um, I commented on his video <laughs> And I said, uh, as you can see, Zion Yasha Allah, it says they forcing it. LOL, the mirth is gone, baby. All right. And he replied back. He said, you know, Khan, it's, it's over. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much, oh, Salaki, in this video here, uh, he was going into how, um, actually, he was doing a response. And he was going into how, um, you know, there's been record breaking sales for uh, Christmas trees. The uh, fir trees, the evergreen trees, the one that you actually go and you cut it out, you know, you cut it out the forest or, or whatever. There's been record breaking sales for those Christmas trees because these everyday Babylonians are basically trying to uh, bring that mirth back. You know, they're trying to uh, the one lady said, we're trying to have a. Uh, <laughs> she said, we're trying to have a, a wonderful Christmas. We want to have our own Christmas but as you can see, when you look around, okay, the mirth is completely stripped out of the land. And I've done numerous of videos, numerous of numbers of videos on, on the mirth and how the Lord has stripped it from this place. This doesn't feel like the so-called every day or every year uh, holiday season where you, you know, people are in the spirit. They walking around, you know, Merry Christmas. Now, some places you'll have some uh, people you know, trying to trying to make it feel like it. But at the end of the day, there's a womb, a wound that can't be healed. All right. That's why the scripture said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. There's a wound that can't be healed, man. And this place is completely done. <clears throat> and you can you can expect, uh, you know, uh, for the the numbers to go down, you know, uh, you know, people Christmas shopping and all that. You can expect the numbers to go down because people don't have the money like they've had in past times. They don't have the money. And here's the evidence right here, man. And there's been a whole bunch of articles coming out telling you how people have been uh, facing evictions. They're behind on rent. They don't have money for the holidays, which that's a blessing because we don't celebrate these damn holidays anyway, man. We celebrate the true holy days of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We don't give a damn about no damn Christmas, man. Because this is a very, very demonic season. And it's spiritual because in New York State, where we're at, you got all these different bars and everything. They close at, uh, they got to be closed by 10 p.m., 10 at night. Bars, restaurants. And they've, they've been talking about shutting it down completely. They haven't done it yet, but they've been talking about it. And you got so-called New Year's coming up, New Year's Eve, where niggas stay out all night and party, you know. And it's not wrong if you have a drink or whatever, but niggas take it to another level. They stay out all night, they party, you know, they uh they celebrate the new year in Babylon. And they stay out all night, three, four in the morning. Well, guess what? If you live in certain states, you can't do that. So the Lord is putting a standstill. On this whole damn society, man, which is beautiful. Now, anyway, let me get off topic. Let me get back into the article. It's from the Washington Post. Millions of Americans are heading into the holidays unemployed and over 5,000 behind on rent. And pretty much they set people up because when they told you that you didn't have to pay your rent for the because of the coronavirus, these different landlords and people that own these properties, they still wanted their damn money, man. It says economists warn many unemployed families won't be able to pay rent 
and utilities without more stimulus or Congress. And guess what? You, you you beginning to find out that this damn government don't give a damn about you, man. Here it is. You've been in a, a global pandemic for almost a year, and they gave your funky ass twelve hundred dollars, a twelve hundred dollars stimulus check, and a couple hundred dollars for each dependent, and that money was gone as soon as you put your hands on it. And they haven't given you anything else since then, man. That's why these people are struggling. It says millions of Americans who lost their jobs during the pandemic have fallen thousands of dollars behind on rent and utility bills. A warning sign that people are running out of money for basic needs. Nearly 12 million renters will own will owe an average of $5,850, which is basically 6 Gs, in back rent and utilities by January. Moody's analytic, uh, analytics warn Last month, 9 million renters said they were behind on rent, according to a census bureau. And see, that's what they was doing with that damn census, man. They was being sneaky. Remember they was coming by your house, trying to get you to fill out a census and be all up in your business, asking you how many people in your house, the names, the races, and all this crazy shit, man. See, Esau is crafty, man. So they're saying, basically, <laughs> that's crazy, man. 12 million renters will owe a back average of almost $6,000 of rent and utility. So if you live in a uh, a cold area and you don't have heat, you're going to be cold, man. You you going you going to freeze. And that's all because of this pandemic. Pandemic. It says economists say the data underscores the deepening financial disaster for many families as the as the pandemic continues to shut off work opportunities, lending new urgency to negotiations for a second round of stimulus that could resonate federal unemployment, insurance, and rental assistance, among other form forms of aid. And if and, and if the devil really cared about you, then he would have been gave you another stimulus, but he don't give a damn about you, man. Showing you that he's your enemy. Okay? Here it is, they could pass, uh, they could hand out money for all other things, but when it comes to taking care of the so-called citizens of this place, they could give a they can give a rat's ass about you, man. <laughs> this is not our rest. On Monday, lawmakers were working to release an outline of the latest 908 bi billion bill, which had some what's that Bar bipartisan support. The deal would restart 300 and weekly federal unemployment in January running through April although details are still being worked out congressional aides said so like you. excuse me brothers the strikes are high for some 20 million Americans receiving some kind of unemployment aid who have seen weekly checks dwindle since August making it harder to pay bills about 12 million unemployed are slated to have their benefits cut out entirely at the end of the of the year unless law lawmakers act before then a growing number of a growing number of Americans are going hungry and that's why you that's why uh, you saw certain brothers like myself we did videos on those mobile food pantries and different food uh, food lines that you have around America Babylon the great people were waiting four hours to get food. There was two mile, two mile long lines. You had to wait in the in the line that was two miles long, if you was in a car for some food, man. So the Lord is showing you that He ain't playing, man. He's not playing at all. It says, with Crown Royal nineteen cases at an all time high, the echo, and if you don't like it, then, then 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 don't watch our videos. If you don't like when we put certain things in code don't watch our videos you can clearly see the word is on the screen we don't have to say it okay why we don't say it is because we using wisdom we being wise as a serpent so they don't cut our videos man so brothers can still be edified anyway we, we shouldn't have to explain ourselves man with the crown royal 19 <laughs> cases at an all-time high the economic recovery has stalled and job opportunities remain scarce Hey, what do the scriptures say? The grinders shall cease. 
the grinding is going to cease, man. Okay? Only 245,000 jobs came back in November. The slowest pace since the recovery began. Restaurants and retailers cut jobs and more small businesses are closing. That is show. Yo, we got a brother in the camp. He works at a restaurant, a local restaurant. And, uh, you know, they kind of been been struggling, you know, because they're like a, a local Italian restaurant. And uh, they kind of been struggling. They had to cut people, you know, the water to the most high. The brother still got his job, but they got to cut people. You know, business has been slow. A lot of these small businesses are never going to recover, man. OK, all because of this so-called pandemic. And people, people's jobs ain't coming back. Uh, it says the numbers of those behind on rent and utilities were especially high for families with children. With 21% falling behind on rent and among families of color. You hear that? Those are those are Jake's, man. About 29% of black families and 17% of Hispanic renters were behind. The Census Bureau reported. And that's why when these people would that's why when the uh, people was coming by your house with the census, they wanted to know the race of the people in your house, the age of the ages of the people, so they can go back and report. Okay, so they can get these type of numbers. A separate analyst by the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, looking at people who had jobs before the pandemic, found 1.3 million such households are now an average of 5,400 in debt on rent and utilities after those people had lost their jobs and their family incomes plunged. Hey, man, the Lord ain't playing out here in these streets, man. It ain't no fun when the Lord got the gun. <laughs> hey, man, the most high is bad, man. Let's look at uh, some of this right here. Uh, it says, I am behind on my rent. I will get evicted soon with my kids who are in virtual school and need Internet, said Cornwell, who lives with her mom and two kids. I've had bad moments, but never anything like this. Cornwell, 36, lost her job in March at a factory that packages tea. She contacted the Crown Royal 19. She contracted the virus in May. One fearful night, she called 911 because she felt she couldn't breathe. She has mostly recovered but still can't smell anything. She had a job offer last month, but it got re uh, so like here, rescinded as the virus cases soared and the company decided to pull back on hires she was getting 275 dollars a week in unemployment but that just ended she had pawn jewelry and her son's beloved playstation to pay for food she pawned her jewelry and sold her son's playstation to pay for food man these people are desperate these people are desperate man and that's why the Lord said that the grinding is going to cease. There's going to be a cr crying for wine in the street. He's going, he, the Lord is not playing, man. We're not going to read anymore. The Lord is not playing. And there's going to be more people like this, man. If you ain't got your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai protecting you, there's going to be, you, you, you're going to catch horrific judgments in this earth, man. You know, not being able to feed your kids, not being able to eat, not being able to go to work, not being able to provide for yourself. The Lord ain't playing, man. You people keep thinking that there's not a higher power running this thing, man. The Lord is not playing. So we're going to continue to watch as well as pray, man. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and taught us this truth. I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. This is the brother Zion signing off. I want to say shalom.